Grow Voter Online has had the advantage of having already 45,000 terrific entries by recognized scholars in the field. What's going to be happening now is that we are looking for more scholars uh, doing more wonderful things for Grove Art Online. They are going to contribute the latest in research, new areas, new directions, new knowledge. It's going to be with the same high standards of excellence. Grove Art Online is the gold standard for the information that you would expect to find from an encyclopedia because it has gone through a peer review process and I look at the articles and I recognize the names of the people who are the authors in many cases and they're highly respected people in the field. It's such a boon that you put the information online and that you have the articles regularly updated. Everyone wants today to be able to search information 24 hours a day uh, wherever they are. Having it online just makes it so much more accessible and valuable. It does seem to me to be a very you know easy site to navigate which is crucial for me because now I'm recommending it more to my undergrads. With the undergrads who are writing their first papers to get them away from going to places like Wiki, you can send them to Grove and they can actually do good research on Grove. There is something to be taught to students about what is a good online source and what's what we get from the web, which is totally not vetted. And so being able to tell them, okay, the information you get here has been vetted through an editorial process, it's been done by scholars, as opposed to whatever you may happen to have Googled. Grove Art Online is an incredible resource for teaching, not only for us scholars who are established in the field and who make use of the wonderful materials that we need before we give a lecture, or even for our research, but also for new teachers, for beginning teachers, for people who don't know anything about a field, their lesson plans, their curricular guides, their all kinds of things that enable people to jump into the field of art history when they hadn't been able to before. It's quite wonderful. When you go into Oxford um, Art Online, um, you get a choice of where you want to navigate about. You can search the whole thing, or you can just search Benazi or the Grove section. They relate quite interestingly that in, in different ways that Grove has more uh, signed articles, so you're going really for the view of the art historian writing about it. I think they set up a good editorial style to begin with and it holds. I think it's, it is, it's, it's efficient, it's clear good English, and, which is good because it's internationally used. I see more global expansion into all parts of the world, which Grove always had, but I think it's going to become even richer in terms of the knowledge bases with more scholars from more parts of the world contributing. Right now, uh, Oxford has decided to put some good resources into Grove Art Online to enable it to be much easier to use, much more accessible, and have many more images than it used to have before. So that's a great plus for both past subscribers and people who are looking to learn more about art history from knowledgeable sources. It's going to be great.